Hello, welcome to Docplex's Middle East Health Minute. The World Health Organization Global Tuberculosis Program has issued updated guidance on the management of tuberculosis in children and adolescents under 16 years of age. This includes new recommendations on diagnostic options, treatment regimens, treatment decision algorithms, and optimal models of care for the delivery of TB services. The US FDA has approved the first of its kind drug-free rehabilitation system that uses vagal nerve stimulation to treat moderate to severe upper extremity motor deficits associated with chronic ischemic stroke. The vagus nerve is stimulated through an implantable pulse generator placed just underneath the skin in the chest. The Health Ministry Yemen has stated that they have received the first batch of approximately 151,000 doses of the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine. The experts from Saudi Arabia have called for including drug and psychological tests in the premarital medical screening. This call aims to reduce drug addiction among young people and limit the domestic issues impacting couples resulting from a spouse being an addict or suffering from mental illness. The Federal Authority for Identity and Citizenship and the National Emergency Crisis and Disaster Management Authority have announced that the application for tourist visas will be open to people from all countries from the 30th of August. This strategy aims to create a balance between public health and the activities of the vital sectors and to support sustainable recovery and economic growth of the country. In your opinion, would implementing such strategies contribute to the spread of the disease? Share your opinion by commenting below. Health Minute, the most popular segment of Docplexus, is now available for the Middle East every Tuesday and Friday. Stay tuned for the latest happenings in the medical field and happy Docplexing!